that one of the suspects, Hakeem Scott, faced off with a judge today in court at his arraignment. He kept his head bowed most of the time. He didn't make direct eye contact with anyone, but most of all, he just looked scared. And now NYPD detectives are closing in on these alleged accomplice, and they need your help in finding him. Today, one of the suspects, Hakeem Scott, was arraigned and remanded. The charges on the uh, criminal complaint are murder in the second degree as a hate crime. The NYPD now needs your help in finding this man, 28-year-old Keith Phoenix, wanted in connection with the brutal beating death of Ecuadorian immigrant Jose Sakushanai. And now, after months of painstaking detective work, they found this surveillance video of the two suspects paying a toll on the RFK bridge 19 minutes after the horrific crime. You can see Keith Phoenix with a big smile, laughing, just minutes after detectives say he and Hikmi Scott beat Jose Sakushanai in his brother Ramel with a baseball bat, kicking and smashing a beer bottle over Jose's head, shouting anti-gay and anti-Hispanic slurs and killing him, all because, according to detectives, the suspects thought the two brothers were gay. We know now that Hakeem Scott and Keith Phoenix brutally beat Jose after they hurled anti-gay slurs at the two brothers. Investigators say the brothers were walking arm in arm to stay warm on that cold December night. And while police are closing in on Keith Phoenix, his alleged accomplice, Hakeem Scott, has been arrested and apparently has confessed. He told detectives that news accounts of the two brothers had troubled him and that he was glad to finally get it off his chest. From that brutal beating, somehow Ramel was able to escape. His brother Jose was not so lucky. He died in the hospital almost a week later as his mother was flying in from Ecuador to see her son. She never got the chance to say goodbye. And if you know anything about Keith Phoenix, please call Crime Stoppers. That toll-free hotline is 1-800-577-TIPS. There is a $22,000 reward for any information leading to his arrest. Keith Phoenix, the man seen laughing in this surveillance video just 19 minutes after allegedly beating an Ecuadorian immigrant, has been nabbed by detectives who got a tip last night from a friend of the accused murderer. Keith Phoenix was apprehended in the apartment of an elderly woman in Yonkers. He has made a full confession. Detectives say 28-year-old Phoenix is the man who fatally beat Jose Sucuchene with a baseball bat on a Bushwick street. 25-year-old Hakeem Scott is also charged in a hate-filled attack on Jose and his brother Rommel, who was simply walking home arm-in-arm. -arm. Today, through their lawyer, they thank the NYPD. It's very painful for them. Uh, you have to see that yesterday, they just released a video in which they see these people were smiling. And, and that's after, they, after killing his brother and nearly killing him, they see uh, the reaction, they, they, they're, they're relief for the police work, they thank the police work, they're very, very proud of that. Cops say back on December 7th, both Scott and Phoenix yelled racial and anti-gay slurs from an SUV, then got out and viciously attacked both brothers. A cabbie jotted down the plate number, and detectives then found a witness to the beatings, described as hate crimes. It's clearly here. These two young men were attacked because these people, these Cretans, thought they were gay. And it makes it no less despicable that they weren't gay. But the message is very clear. We will not tolerate as a society people being identified because of their sexuality or any other difference. Today, flanked by both Diego and Rommel, the brothers of the murder victim, City Council Speaker Christine Quinn vowed the support of the entire city until justice is served. In the face of a horribly hateful and cowardice acts, you and your family have stood up uh, with dignity and grace and been a testament to the diversity that makes our city great. The city is planning to name a street after the murdered victim in Brooklyn. If they're convicted, both Scott and Phoenix face 25 to life behind bars. From City Hall, Mike Sheehan, Fox 5 News.